Hi everyone, it's Lynn and this is our brand new catalog for October, November, and December from Close to My Heart. This has a beautiful uh, cover page that has a shaker element to it and the Merry Christmas is a very pretty thin cut. You always have our message from Jeanette and information about becoming a maker and a VIP. We also have our subscription program for Craft with Heart for card making and scrapbooking. But let's dive right into the newest kits. This is freshly baked. If you love to bake for the holidays and have this tradition to do with your family, you're absolutely going to love this kit. It's cheerful, it's bright, and it has so many baking elements to it. Here you can see the um, beautiful sticker sheet and a close-up of that with the different little cookies. Uh, Living the Sweet Life, Baking Memories are some really nice titles. Then you also have the patterned paper. Remember, you get two sheets of each with the very pretty zip strip. So you can see that they're nice and bright. And actually, this paper right here with the words on it is actually a recipe typed out on that. So it's kind of cute. And then if you like to do things like for Santa and leave cookies out at night or for his reindeer, you may maybe want to create a layout with that paper. The coordinating cardstock is French vanilla toffee, honey butter, new Seabrook, flamingo, and scarlet. These cute dots come in the workshops kit, so look forward to that. We also have our digital art collection that you can see right here. And then you have so many really nice Picture My Life cards that you could use. And also, this is a great um, kit to create recipes, to do a recipe book with, or also include pocket pages, six by 12 pocket pages. So if you're creating a two page spread, you can also have your recipe typed out on those cards. Here you can see the card making workshop, uh, card making kit, which is this stamp set. So you can make a stamp uh, recipe, I'm sorry, stamp a recipe on a card using this set. And then also you can have your different um, titles that you can add to the tab. So this is a thin cut, the tab, as well as the recipe, which has this cute little you know, diagonal line cut out. So you can stamp your lines, write your recipe, whether you want to do it on craft or white paper. But this is actually one that you could put inside those pocket plus pages or a flip flap if you'd like. I'll be using the scrapbooking stamp set in Thin Cut and this um, baking tray is super cute to lay out your cookies on, but for paper wise, we'll be using it in the scrapbook kit. And then you can see how cute this stamp set is. And then everything you see in brown is a thin cut. Now these are really pretty layouts and I've chosen to do two of them, but they're modified a little bit. I like this baking memories, but I've changed out my title and I changed out some of the paper. I'm actually going to be adding some of the mixings in. I also use this layout, but I modified it as well, which is really cute. And then you have holiday treats, which is a, a nice layout. I opted not to use that one, but I've created 10 pages. But right now, I'm just showing you the catalog. Let's look at the contents in the workshop kit. So you can see you have all the beautiful paper, the sticker sheet, a lot of cardstock here, nine sheets of cardstock, a scarlet, seabrook, honey butter, toffee, and five French vanilla. Then you also have three exclusive pattern sheets and then three sheets that are punch out. And then there are those cute little dots. So you can see here, uh, there are a couple additional supplies needed, but I did not use the white gel pen. What a really cute card making kit. So if you like festive and fun to send for holiday cards, this might be right up your alley with have a sweet holiday season, chip chip hooray, and sorry you're feeling crummy, so you can do that for somebody who needs to get well. But you'll see this kit right here. Let's look at that stamp set. And then these are all the adorable thin cuts. You have this heart thin cut, the milk, the straw, the cookie, or the plate, I should say, and then these little cookies. With this stamping, the little image on the cookie really makes it super fun. 
So you can see you have the exclusive B-size stamp set, thin cut, there's cardstock, pattern paper. You're going to make 16 cards and some gold gems. Christmas Story. If you love traditional Christmas, Christmas Story will be for you. What a beautiful page this is right here. I really like this, showcasing a really cute photo, uh, all the papers that you see here, and look at the beautiful colors that are in this particular kit. Scarlet, Candy Apple, Harbor, Sage, Pine, Toffee, Espresso, Mink, French Vanilla, and Black. Wow, you've got some choices here with these beautiful papers. So let's look on. So let's look at this sticker sheet. As you can see, look at these beautiful poinsettias that are in stickers. You have stockings, dovetails, borders, tags, our Christmas story, a couple of cute icons, and then you have these cute little words on the bottom. Really nice. Let's look at the pattern paper. What a nice selection of holiday pattern paper that I, you know, you can use with the stripes, you have the plaids, and then you have the hero paper, which is this green pattern with a little bit of a leaf. And then I love the holly and berries right here. So really a, a nice collection of papers. The coordinating cardstock, you would get two sheets of each, black, French vanilla, mink, toffee, pine, and looks like candy apple, scarlet. Okay, so it's scarlet. Now these embellishments, would you check that out? So these kind of overlay, some of them overlay over each other. So you're going to have some uh, white acrylics, I believe some red acrylics or black acrylics, and then some glitter paper as well. Really a great embellishment pack. I could definitely see using these on cards. If you're into the digital collection, these are SVG files. So all of these images will create the scrapbook layout or you can use them for cards. Lots of options with that. The Picture My Life cards, really pretty. I love the designs, very clean, classy look, perfect for traditional Christmas. I would probably hand cut this poinsettia and add it onto our scrapbook page. Hint, hint. <laughs> Haven't made them yet, but I know that's what I'll do. So there you have that collection for Christmas Story. I absolutely love both of these stamp sets. This is the Christmas Story card making set and the wreath, the pine cone, the holly and berries, and all of these sentiments all have a thin cut if you like the thin cuts. I'm definitely going to be making a card workshop with this set. As far as the Christmas scrapbooking set goes, this tree is a thin cut. Now I can see adding these cute little popcorn, um, these are like little popcorn or silver bells, if you'd like, of garland that you could add. The Christmas makes a really nice title. Let's look at that layout a little bit closer so you can see that title, A Merry Little Christmas. This is colored in with watercolor pencil. You can see how the tree is done here and some. Uh, gold stars were added. This would be a great one to also add some of our dots, maybe some stickles or liquid pearls to the tree, which would make it super easy to decorate, right? Now here you can see the scrapbook workshop. I think it's beautiful. I'll just make a few modifications and probably add another two pages to this, but I do really, really like this. Um, I love this, these tags that are going across, these cute photos. Now you always have that option to change a photo into a larger size, four by four, four by six, if you'd like, or you can always add a flip flap or um, a pocket plus page in between. But here you can see these beautiful poinsettia stickers, right? Very pretty. These tags are actually in the workshop kit. They're punch outs for you, as well as these scallops along the side. Saves you lots of time. The technique is using the, um, the gold gilt spray and sponging it on certain pieces of paper to make it look very festive and metallic, right? So you can see here's the gold spray right here. You can see it right here. It does add some color to the paper. I really like this layout and I might modify it a little bit to 
lighten it up, but it is super cute with these punch outs here that you can see. And all of these ornaments right here are punched out. That saves us so much time. Here's the last set of pages, and I love the black and the red plaid, black, white, red, and gray. What great photos, what adorable kids who's ever they belong to, but what a really usable layout for all of our photos for the holidays. Now you can see the workshop kit right here. So you have all this pattern paper. Here's the sticker sheet, all of this cardstock. So you have five sheets, one scarlet, one mink, and three black. Then you have your three exclusive sheets and three punch outs. There's the tags, there's the scallops, and there's that nice circle ring that you saw. This also includes an exclusive wood printed paperboard, paperboard die cut sheet that you can see right here and this glitter. So this is a really great kit to get. So the gilt gloss spray is additional um, and it's optional if you want to use something like that. Here's an adorable card making uh, kit for you for the holidays. If you're into the jars, these are all thin cuts right here, the sprigs that you see to add to the jars. And then you have some really nice sentiments. So you can see them all here. Here's your cards. So you're making four of each of these cards. So pretty. And then here is your stamp set, which are sentiments. And then these are your thin cuts right here. And it comes with gold uh, shimmer trim. Remember at the bottom is always your additional items needed and there's not much else needed right there. Cherish, what a beautiful kit. I'm looking forward to working on this one. I love this color palette that we're using. Peach, Periwinkle, uh, Mist, Seabrook. These three right here are all new colors. Sage, toffee, shortbread, mink, pewter, and French vanilla. Just look at a close-up of the papers and this layout. And where do you see the stamps? So pretty. You can see this flower right here is one of our new stamps, and it comes with the stencil. So just hang on to that and some Picture My Life cards and then our beautiful pattern paper. This would be very pretty for a wedding. It could be any kind of an special occasion, or it could be everyday life. Love grows here. You can also use these colors for a beautiful christening if you wanted to for a baby. I can definitely see that for either gender. So think about that as you're looking at this collection and these beautiful papers. Wow. Love them all. So pretty. So you have this really pretty shortbread color. You have your mink gray, and you have this harbor color that's mixed in here with some of the mist and um, seabrook. You have the diagonal paper, really, really nice. Here's your cardstock. So I think it's going to be French vanilla, mink, uh, scar, um, shortbread, sage. Seabrook and Mist. So those would be the two of each. Now look at these beautiful embellishments that you have. You have white, you have uh, wood, the wood tone, as well as this mist color. Very, very pretty. The digital art collection right here. If you love to do floral designs and patterns, you'll this will be right up your alley. You have a beautiful card, the layout, and then you have Cherish the little things and the word happy will be in that collection too. Look at the picture my life cards. Now these are also things that you can use to just create into cards, but we'll be using them to add to our scrapbook pages. Now this is the card making workshop and this is what's new right here. Includes three layering stencils for coloring different sections of your stamped image. So here is the main stay part of the flower. Then you have parts of the leaves that you see here. And then these little pieces, which are the interior of the flower and then little be beads down here. So let's take a closer look. So even if you have flower stamps, 
This is special because of that stencil, which will make it super easy for coloring it in to get that shaded look. You're not using markers. You can use oxide ink or our dye-based ink. This has a little bit of, uh, looks like um, gold gilt spray here. We have some embellishments, but isn't that really pretty? Yes, you can use markers, watercolor pencils if you'd like, paint, but it's kind of nice to have um, this stamp with all of these really nice messages to make some really great cards. This is the scrapbooking stamp set. It's a really nice word to have in your stash. I love the layout, the beautiful floral that are here with some flowers and leaves that you can see that are all thin cuts. Now you can see this beautiful layout, of Amy and her daughter, and those beautiful paper, papers for Cherish. All right, let's check out the workshop kit. So here you can see it's a beautiful, I, I really am loving this paper and this collection, and I do love these layouts. And I love what they did with some of these templates here. So you're going to be using these circle punch outs for both of these pages. So you're going to use the framework for one layout and the circle flipped over for this layout. I think that's really a clever use of paper. So you can see here the beautiful patterns, um, the layouts and designs, plus quite a bit of photos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful layout. Love this look too. This is our fellow consultant and friend, Barbara and Mark Otten. And what a great bunch of photos that they've used on these pages. Isn't this so pretty? I can definitely see it for wedding and christening, anniversary. But yes, you can use it for special occasions or special moments in your life. And there's also this stencil that you'll be using to create this look and using that same pattern to create the stenciled weave right here that you see on these pages. Oh, let's check out the workshop kit. So there's five sheets of cardstock. So you have all the pattern paper, sticker sheet, the cardstock, and then your exclusive paper and your punch outs. So everything is always listed here, so check it out. But here you can see the beautiful embellishments, right? So an exclusive sage cardstock die cut sheet right here. Now here is a beautiful card workshop that you'll see. This is the Cherish one. Uh, you have this beautiful stamp set. And then this right here is your thin cut. So let's check that out. Look how pretty. And this one as well, that's a beautiful thin cut. So if you use the thin cut and then you cut the scallop off, you're going to have this look that you see right around here. Whoops. The cards are just so pretty. So it's a great all occasion for thinking of you. Thank you. Sending love. Happy day. Some little bit of flowers here which have thin cuts, and then this beautiful frame that's a thin cut that you can see. Isn't that so pretty? Just love that. All right, let's go into the mix-ins. Mix-ins works with both, all three of these kits, so you can see these beautiful papers right here. You get six sheets, so it's, this is one side, this is the other side of each one. There's also a coordinating cardstock, so the colors here are Scarlet, Harbor, Mist, Seabrook, Mink, and French Vanilla. We're coming right into our stamp sets and thin cuts, and you'll just love this kind of a look where they're showing you a lot of different things that you can do with the sets that are coming your way. So if you like to cook uh, baked pies, this is really a cute Thanksgiving one, but this is also one I can see using with freshly baked. So if you like to do pies or donuts, things I could see a little bit of donut action here. Um, this is something you might want to add so that you have everything covered for all your baking needs to do recipes and whatnot. Here's the Peace and Light stamp set, which is very pretty for Hanukkah. 
You also have your elves, your elf on the shelf. This is great if you're um, if you know your family does this kind of thing with the elf, and you have all of these that can go right inside. I love the cards that they're showing you here and how they've created on a card for a layout and these really cute little kind of like coupons that you could do. That'd be cute to go with your elves on the shelf. If you are into the nativity and you love religious Christmas holiday cards, this is a great uh, two different sets for you. This one right here, which has all of these thin cuts. And then you also have this one star, one night, one child right here. And what a lovely selection of card ideas that you have. Now, I wish we had this train set when my kids were little because we had those wooden trains. So here you can see the train ride right here. And these have thin cuts, um, cute with the ticket. And then all of these can go on the ticket. And then you also have this set right here, which is Let It Snow stamp set. But really cute ideas that coordinate so well with all of these colors that you can see here are in these uh, pieces of art for you right here. So the front cover had that Merry Christmas. This is a thin cut right here, three dies, the Merry and the Christmas. As you can see here, you have an outline and then the solid is underneath. Then you have this beautiful frame, which is a, an, a dry embossing folder for a slimline card. But I can also see using this on a scrapbook page um, horizontally so that you can do your journaling in here. Another one, if you're into coffee, lattes, and things like that, this thin cut is for you to create these, this look right here. And then this is stamped, a different stamp set, right onto these images. Down here, this is kind of cool too. This is for holly embossing folder and stencil. It's only $9.95, so it's an embossing folder. And then these two stencils create this look you see right here with these two colors. It looks like pine and seabrook. So you're just stenciling right over your embossed image. That is really cool. You can see how it looks so realistic right here. I'm glad that we're trying some different new things. I think you're going to be really happy with the different stencils that we're um, coordinating with our stamps and thin cuts. It makes it so much fun. Here's some great card ideas and a layout using these different stamps for the holidays. We have borders. Then you have a couple of just messages and then some textured stamps. Uh, snowflakes and the snowflake only thin cut. And then we have, for those of you who are into the like a woodland look or a holiday, very rustic. I love the deer myself personally. So this is really pretty. And all of these go right into this banner. This is a banner you can use on so many things. Maybe even put it with that... Um, holly leaf that we saw in the Christmas story card making stamp set. More stamps and thin cuts. So we have you covered for the winter. I love the idea of all these different apparel for kids or for winter sports or outdoor time. And then for those of you who are in the warmer uh, climate, you have this for the holidays with, I like the, the surfboard that's kind of like lit up and then you can use this for the season. Always check out the artwork and remember these pieces right here, these are your colors that are being used in the artwork so you can see it has a color chart for you. Here's some more great stamps and thin cuts for those of you who are into this kind of a look. <laughs> you have Monday, hope it bear, it's bearable, kind of cool to see something like that. And then you have, so it's a cute little punny stamp set. And then for those of you who are into maybe celebrating the holidays or love to um, have a girls night or book club or some kind of an event that you are always celebrating with the girls or the guys with drinks, you really might like this stamp set right here. And these are all thin cuts. So you can see right here, it could be martini season. 
you're my signature drink. How cool is that? Especially um, sparkling it up with a shaker with those silver little um, stars underneath makes it super cute. Here, Monday is, the struggle is real. Uh, for those of you who are in the book club, this one, I'd rather be reading Stamp Set and Thin Cuts. This is for you. I can see if you're a crafter and you like um, hostessing the book club and you want to make some bookmarks for your readers and your club members or you want to make um, name tags or maybe even stamp cocktail napkins. I mean this could be really fun, some kind of a fun stamp set to own and then if you want the thin cuts that's the ones that are all thin cut for you. For those of you into theater or you have your kids that are doing drama, here's a nice adorable stamp set. And now we're coming into the stamps of the month. So we have blessings of the first Noel right here for October. So all four stamps. So this would be free for a VIP with a $50 purchase or $5 with a $50 purchase for non-VIP, or you can just buy it outright for $19.95. The November stamp of the month is the Christmas Snowflake Mandela's. So, so pretty. I'm definitely going to play around with some embossing with that one. And then the December is Forest Critters. Look how cute they are. So something a little bit more realistic and adorable. So there you have it. There's all of our information. And then ever, anytime you want to find some information about these items, you can always try the hashtag CTMH and then the name of the kit. And sometimes you will... Um, get a bunch of artwork that has been tagged by other makers and consultants to show you what you can do with those products. All right, and once again, in the back of the catalog, you will see this is our Operation Smile stamp set. So if you make a purchase, a, a donation will go towards Operation Smile. That's it for me. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you really enjoyed this catalog walkthrough.